welcome. It's rabbit season. Oh god, he's swinging back. If he swings back, I'm dead. Hello everyone, today's video is going to be episode 11 of our Escape from Tarkov Standard Edition playthrough. And in today's video, we're going to be rocking through on Shoreline, getting some quests done, as well as showing off the eye tracker. So I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. As always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And remember that our live streams are every Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 2 to 5 p.m. Pacific. Also, if you're looking for the full unedited VODs of every single live stream, please don't forget to check out that blue join button down below as $5 members and up get access to all of that exclusive content. But that's all I've got for you guys today. And as always, enjoy the show. All right, let's go here. Only thing I hate about using the eye tracker is it forces me to play in uh in windowed mode, which I, I get less frames when I play like this. So that's the only thing. Kind of sucks, but whatever. So as you can see, a lot of the time is spent when I'm playing is just spent like scanning the horizon, right? And I'm using my peripheral. We, we've talked about this before. We I use my peripheral vision to check like closer. And unless there's something that really requires my attention, like close, I'm just scanning the horizon constantly. There are a couple spawns close to here that we do need to respect. We might rush that fight if they end up opening up a little bit more. That's over down by these spawns over here. There's a player right here. Is he going up into the tower? him. He dumped, jumped down into the ditch. We have to close distance. There we go. I will say, it's a little trippy aiming down a scope and seeing the, the hollow sight reticle and, and the tiny, um, <laughs> a little distracting from a shooter's perspective, not gonna lie. Like, I was looking in and I was getting distracted by the, by the secondary circle, so. Made shooting with the hollow a little, a little tougher than it should be, but we managed it. See if he's got seven and one or something. No. He's trying to mark stuff. There is a way I can get it to where it doesn't show me the, the eye tracker, but it shows you guys. I have to figure out how to do that. It does distract me a little bit. Maybe if we made it a little more faint. You know, just kind of toggled with the with, messed with the color a little bit made it a little less uh, obtrusive less opaque that might work have like this very faint thing I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to tweak some settings here to make this like actually work how I want it to work. Cause can be a little bit much. Make it light gray, yeah, maybe. I 
You can see, like, you're never, like, just relaxed. You're always scanning around, right? We've been running into some pretty quiet raids, honestly. I mean, granted, it is Monday. But still. I mean, we killed one player, I guess, so... Something. Ah! Yes! Where's my extract? We're calm. Alright, we're going- we're just- we're just gonna get out with this, uh, flash drive. Let check this real fast. Okay, we're good. That was so quiet. Alright guys, so the first PMC raid of the day goes pretty smoothly. We even get out with a flash drive. Also, if you might have noticed, we did have the eye tracker on for that raid, so let me know down in the comments what you think. I know some people think it's distracting, but I think it does a really good job of showing you guys where I'm looking while I'm playing. But now, we're gonna go into the next raid, where we're going to be going to dorms so that we can get our Shaking Up Teller quest done. So hopefully, this one goes smooth. Alright, we're going to 203. I lagged a little bit, nearly died to him. Scab or a player? I couldn't tell. Looked like a player, honestly. A duo, I think, of aiming. Where'd this guy freaking run to? This guy skedaddled. Gotta catch him on a flank here. Where did he go? That's far. It's kind of dangerous what I'm doing like here. Honestly, like walking this. There's guy number one. There's guy number two. He was sitting in the bush. I didn't see him in the bush. Maybe he came back. Very interesting. Holy didn't see him there. Oh, they're noobs. Okay, you can have your stuff back. How about you? Uh, you can also have your stuff back. I'm sorry, guys. Welcome to Tarkov. Let's pop around now. We gotta head to dorms. We're gonna be going in there late, so kind of sketch. It's gonna be pretty hot. 
Now, I don't remember if this is 203 East or 203 West. I'm pretty sure it's 203. Uh, the three-story dorm. So, right now, just based off timing in the raid, we shouldn't really be running into anyone just because we... dicked around a good amount near the, um... start. So, we'll probably run into people in dorms, but, like, on the way to dorms... Probably gonna run into people exiting. That's gunshots inside the building. It's gonna be pretty important for me to find out like where exactly those gunshots are. A flash drive. out what's going on as much as possible. You can see through the windows here. Pretty important. Gotta find out where all that gunfire was in dorms. If it was in the second or third story. See if the second floor door is open here on this side. It might be. Nope. It's not. Well, we're gonna ignore that dorm. Try to push in the third. This is not the best weapon matchup right now for us, so... <laughs> Probably have to get tricky with how we do this. Yeah, see, the issue with getting into dorms late is that, like, people could be posted up and you'll have no idea until you get in there. Just want to be as quiet as you can. <laughs> Hitting a bush. Getting up there. All these bushes are like huge ass warnings to the players inside. <laughs> now you can, um... You can take these fast, but you need the gun and the armor to do it, right? Because you're giving away more advantage. So if I have a set up like this, I kind of just like really want to quietly get up there and check it out. The door's not open, which is bad for us. I'm trying to listen now. There's 100% someone in one of these buildings. I hate not being the first one in here. I mean, there is no sound. Wish I had a light too. We are not really kit for this properly. So we got one of them. Oh yeah, that's very fucking troublesome. Alright, we got the second one. That's... concerning. What's up here? Okay. Push in and take a room. Close the door behind you as soon as you can. I usually don't like reaching from this side because there's this thing you have to jump over. It's a pain in the dick. Gonna clear only the open doors, not gonna worry about the closed doors. The reason is because if someone wants to pop out of the closed doors, I'll hear them open the door. So there's no reason for me to go in there. Okay. It's gonna get riggedy wrecked. Um, and then after we challenge that initial door right there, I don't want to re-peek it, right? Because they're like, hey, he's just shot from this door. I'm going to get my gun on this door. 
So he immediately backed off. I threw the nade into the second floor. Just so I could deafen him, right, with the explosion. If we kill him, that's great, but that's not really the point of the nade there. The point of the nade there is to, to deafen him. Um, so I can come up the stairs kind of uncontested. And then we flank this guy, because he was watching the open door. through all this. Sorry, 203, 203, 203, 203, 203. Go three this way? No. Might as well sprint. We made a ton of noise. Oh, God. Okay. Gonna load up now while we can. There's a body on the stairs here with the SV-98, but I don't really give a crap about that. We're just gonna punch out. Not getting greedy, right? We just want our quest item. But we're playing that mobility as a solo player. But you need to be able to mask that movement getting up to the second stairs somehow, right? Because it does no good if you just loudly clank up there and they hear you and you haven't done anything to distract them and they just switch angles and watch the door behind them. But the benefit of playing ping pong on the outside doors is like, in most cases, you only have to watch one direction, right? You just have to watch, once you open up the door, you just have to watch inside the building. Whereas if, if you're inside the building and you're in them halfway down the hallway, you have to watch your back and your front. And it, it, you're just trying to play those angles until the player messes up. So let's say, for example, we came up that other stairway, or we popped it, and he was looking that direction. We traded a couple shots and then dipped that back down. And, and then play uh, the other angle again. And we keep swooping him back and forth until we catch him. We can double peek, take some time, but the, the whole thing is you want to catch him trying to cover two angles while you only have to cover one. Same concept for uh, duos. Is you ping pong back and forth between one, one, uh, the first and second player as a duo team against a single player. So you both are playing his angle, and then he, you just catch him when he messes up. So... Good raid. All right, so we actually managed to get a couple players, get our quests, and get out alive. So a really successful raid there. I do want to break down that dorms fight because a lot of people usually ask me how to take dorms solo. And the answer is until you're comfortable with the game, the gunplay, and the game mechanics, don't try to go into dorms until you think you're ready. Because what ends up happening, and I talk about this a lot, is you end up putting yourself in situations where you have a 50-50 chance of survival no matter what you do. The player is either on the left side of the door or on the right side of the door. Right here, you can see me use stealth and a couple of unconventional tactics where we creep up the doorway, open the door and blast the first player but it was incredibly important that i flank around to the side and get into the second doorway you can see me also throw that nade to deafen the player so that he can't hear that movement but it's just incredibly important that you're comfortable with the map you're comfortable with the game before you make these complicated plays because otherwise you're just going to trip on yourself and get caught in the process but now we're on to the next quest which is taking in the akm to get some scav kills on a shoreline so here we go hopefully we can get this done in a couple raids <laughs> Oh, what have we done, chat? What have we done? Okie dokie, we are here to kill scavs, so let's go to the shoreline. What's that stock on uh, some red, some red garbage stock? Oh my god, I'm sliding. <laughs> that that reminds me of like the armor glitches where like you would slide and then as soon as you finish sliding, your legs would break. Anyone play Arma? Know about that glitch? Yeah. What's up with all the quiet raids, huh? Give me some shooty shooty bang bang. No one, nothing at the station. Nothing on the spawns. Always check this with your eyes, just in case someone can beat you up there and they usually try to snipe up there for their quest. Scared the fuck out of me, dude. Jesus Christ.
You know, you know what they say when you get what you ask for? They're not wrong. We're gonna displace entirely because oh, I don't really know. Oh, 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 God damn it. <laughs> Thank God for BP. Give me a fucking painkiller. Oh dear God. Stop the bleeds. I die here in the back. I get shot in the back here. That's how it- that's how it all ends. That's all it ends. One shot right to the back. Run- one shot right here. Plop! Right down. I get dropped right here. No? Interesting. I'll come back for the body, don't worry guys, but I, I, I need to reset this entirely and like completely finish metting the rest of my body up. And I don't feel safe there. I want to kick to the water, the closer you get to the water. Oh god, left is way too open. I'm just gonna pick a bush. Um, the further I go this direction, if I go all the way down the road, I get, end up getting pushed up against the map of the border. Or the map of the wall. This tree. This tree is gonna have to do it. Good news, we're almost full health. The bad news is our armor is absolutely zeroed. So, on that second guy, he had his dead to rights. If we kept on running, we would have died. The only play I had right there was to challenge him and try to kill him before he healed. He, he killed us. So we got insanely lucky there. I don't want to do backpack inception because I want to be able to easily stack stuff. If I do backpack inception, it's uh, it's going to mess up my, my slot order. My slot availability. I don't want to make... Noise. Please tell me you have armor. Okay, this is good news. I mean, it's it's pretty scuffed, but... It's better than nothing. I guess. Great. Why did you just throw a nade? Why did he just throw a nade that direction? What was that? What was that? What, what the fuck was that? Why oh, in the world oh, would- Oh, the gods have blessed us. There's something there, that's why. That's why you would do that. Come on. Yeah, uh-huh. This guy's no barrel awareness. He has, he has no idea his barrel's sticking out on the other side. Just peek. Just lean. Just lean. That's all you gotta do. Oh, I'm so dead. Alright, I can't get the rest of your stuff, brother. I need to patch the wound. Yes, quickly now. Yep, stand up. Okay, challenge. This one right here. How did you not stop the bleed after all of that? How did you ref- oh, I, I'm gonna die here because I couldn't stop the bleed. Oh, dude, I don't, I don't get it, I don't get it. We, we, were, we were healing the entire time. How do you not stop the bleed during that time? Oh. All right, so unfortunately, we did not get out alive with that last raid. Uh, a pretty spicy ending there, though, as those two players did that one-two left-right play, and it's just really important that you understand how most duos will operate. The left player or the right player, whoever draws contact first, will keep your attention, while the opposite one will flank and push you. So it's really important that you understand how that kind of teamwork-oriented mindset operates and how that is executed. But anyways, guys, we did get caught against the road, so bad positioning on my part, as well as our bleed. We just couldn't stop it. I don't know why, and that ended up just compounding the situation into a fatal outcome. But anyways, we're going to go back on shoreline now, same kind of kit, and try to get our AKM kill quest done. All right, uh, going for scabs, going for the same area. All right, is it... Dude, I don't know what's going on. We're probably going to have to use the Valde or something else. It's this latest patch. Usually there's more. Uh, 
Ah, uh, okay. Go double all the way back, see if we can find anyone. I heard something. That's a big dude. I'm pretty sure there's only one way out right here. I'm gonna aim down sight until he comes back out again. I'm pretty sure there's only one way you can come out of that building. See, I don't really play around here too much, so I don't really know. What is he doing, though? Why would you go in there? What's he looking for? He's looking for something. So, the one thing, like, the safest way for us to see if he's still in there... ...would be to creep around at range and check the, uh... ...check the other side of the house at distance. Does that make sense? We still keep all of our options up at that point. We'll go ahead and do that. This would have been the spot to watch from. God damn it. Might it there might be an exit on the other side here. I think there is. Sad face. Oh, there is. There is, boys. We've been debated. He slipped out the other side. Unfortunate. See, if we had the map knowledge of that, we probably- I probably would have rushed over to get eyes on the back door. Well, now you know, right? If I had to bet he's down on the shoreline, just from, like, how that- all that terrain looks, it feels like it pushes you towards the shoreline. Go check it out. Yeah, Tarkov barn watching simulator? Hell yeah, dude. This guy knows what I'm talking about. I mean, he might be on Scab Island. That's like, feels like the next possible place he could be. Maybe not. All right, I gotta watch 12 now, because we're reaching that point in the raid where players are gonna start pushing for extract from this side of the map. So I do want to pay attention to my 12. There should be absolutely no one behind us. Alright, so we'll go check the north scav spawns for our quest. But this is pretty quiet. Ah, nice. Do we just go down there and blast the other one? Get it over with real fast. We do. Quite enough, right? Right, I'm not gonna get sniped. Oh, I'm not gonna repeat that again. He's pretty far. I think it's that scab spawn over there. Could have been a player though, honestly. We'll get up on the hill across and look. Hello? Hello? Thank you. Oh god. God, what am I stuck on, you game? You game. All right, let's get up and look across, see if we can see. I'm pretty sure it's that scab, and that's probably what we heard earlier. I mean, it could have been a player. I check my back real fast before I commit to looking over there.
Okie dokie. That sliding is getting pretty difficult. Pretty sure it's that scab patrol. Okay. Let's go check helipad for scavs and then we'll check um What's that thing called? Weather station. There's usually a couple scabs up here late in the raid. <sighs> Unless of course they're dead, no. Saw another one over here. Yeah, no, don't step back. You know, it's been a while since we've had some straight calming raids, right? And Shoreline's just one of the maps where I, I just feel calm a little bit. A little more so than other maps. Interchange is always tense because you're like clearing corners and, and taking structures and stores. Woods is just a snipe fest where you're ready to get just dropped out of nowhere. But I feel like Shoreline is the one map where it's like, you can have a semi-relaxed- I mean, I guess that's why it's called Snoreline, right? Semi-relaxing raid on, uh, on, uh, Shoreline. I really shouldn't run into anyone out here. This is like a really random area of the map. There we go. Oh god, he moved. And I ran out of breath. Nice. Any below, or is it just the one up top? Ow! You broke my bone, dude. It's not fun. Alright. The other one's upstairs, right? Yeah. Swiggity swiggity, I'm coming for that booty. Clank, 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 clank. Ooh. That's not at me. There's scav on scav islands. Ooh. Not at me. Is it? It is. I'm sorry, dude. I had to put you down. Hello? Uh oh. Why is there a body here? <laughs> Thoroughly confused. What happened to you? I don't know. Interesting. I don't know what happened to you. Alright, so unfortunately that raid was kind of quiet as far as player versus player entertainment goes or content goes, but we did manage to get a lot of progress done with our scav raids. And you know, an extract and some quest progress, I'm always happy with that. We're gonna go back in again now with the same kind of kit, get some scav kills to try to get this quest done. Alright, um, uh, where are we? Are we northeast? I feel like we're northeast. We're northeast, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, we're gonna push spawns. So, because we spawn so far northeast, if we go down south, we're, be we're gonna be pushing into players. So, we're gonna try to catch a couple of them while on the way to get some scat kills. So, that's, that's, what we're, that's what we're doing. We're gonna push up to this hill and, uh, try to catch some dudes. I hope you're all right, T-Star. Really do. You've been around on the channel for quite a, quite some time now. You're 100% a channel regular. Happy to see you every stream, man. Really do appreciate it. All right, so what was going on here? I heard bullets. Ooh. 
It's a little too far to third party, honestly. Because of the terrain, I'd have to go over all these open plains and stuff. And I don't really want to do that. So... Let's not... We'll see if we, they come towards us and we'll catch them like that. But I don't really want to go pushing across the open to them right now. We could snake up up here on the right and try to see what happens, but... Gotta remember, our main goal this raid is to get six uh, scap kills. Chill on this little thing here. <laughs> I think we got him. Not sure. 50 50. 50 50 on that one, boys. 50 50. Number one thing, though, we can't push his legs broke. So 50 50, we drop him. We can always go back and check. But the last thing I want to do is push this dude on a broken leg. The gods have blessed us. Last thing I want to do. So we're going to just displace here. Back at the fuck up. Met up, loop around, check to see if there's a body at range. That's the that's the dealio. That's that's the that's the play, boys. That's the play. He hurt me, dude. We hit him with BP like twice in the chest, so I'm like pretty confident he's dead. But Tarkov could have just been like, no. I'm feeling I'm feeling a little confident about that fight. I could be completely wrong, but. Oh, I see a body. I think he's dead. So the question at this point now is, does he have a buddy? All right. It's a little too late to fast loot this guy just because we had to met up ourselves. So we're going to have to slow loot this guy, which means we got to secure the area. Stop anyone that's rushing to the gunfight. And once I'm satisfied loot the dude so new game plan let's go ahead and execute i want to keep this mag loaded even though a couple bullets are missing because uh pp i'm actually gonna flank up here on the high ground and look at this from the opposite angle and see if i can spot anything and then we can always sweep around from behind the body what we'll do. Okay, maybe anyone's camping the reverse slope of the hill. I'm pretty satisfied that there's no one camping back here. Check this bush. kind of beefy dude no no you were not oh okay fully thought he had something bigger i guess not all right let's go get our scap kills so we'll check this then we'll go down to the water then we'll go up to bus and then we'll go to village and then we'll go to the market village then we'll extract Oh, oh, okay, we might just, ru I'm gonna glance over here, just to see if there's anyone down here looting. Oh, ho, ho. That guy caught it. Man's out of stamina. Oh, fuck. He's moving. I need to flank his right before he uh, gets into a new position. We also need to reload, so we're going to stop reload on the on the fly. 
And we'll get all the way around his right. I should have sprint advantage because he burnt a lot of it and he took rounds. So we should be able to reposition all the way around his right. And I want to get a top down angle on him. Let's go, 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 go. We should have sprint advantage on this guy. There's, I, I, I doubt he's able to get further than us. I really, really do. So as long as we did this fast enough, he should be looking the other direction. I want to cut him off up here. Oh, there he is. Nice try. He he did everything he, he should have. He tried to race me to the top of the hill, so he played it right. He pl I don't know how he had so much sprint. He must have his his strength leveled or whatever. He played it right. Um, I don't know how he was able to keep up, honestly. Because he sprinted from the base, or from the, the station. I tagged him, so he lost sprint. And then even then, despite all that, this man was able to almost beat us to the top. So he played it right. He knew he had to move. Because if he had stopped, I would have just gotten up down and then cleared top down on him. So we're going to make sure there's no one, no, no one else here. Yeah, good play. Good play, dude. I respect that. I respect that. He knew he knew if he stayed still down there, he would have died. So, Oh, okay. 31. So yeah, he probably has some, some decent skills. He's probably got better than skills than me. I'm only level like uh, 20 on this account. Serve 12, dude. Why you gotta, why you gotta make my life difficult, dude? Alright. Please, 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 no third party. Okay, I get dropped, like, right here, right? Yeah. Drop that, take this. Drop that, take this. Two shock, I need that. Drop that, take this. MP9. God damn it. Oh, okay. Uh, fuck. I don't want the MP9. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just leave. Let's just go before we get caught here like they did. Okay. I mean, we did. I, did, did we even get a scav? I don't even think we did. I think we just got players. We're just going to extract anyways. Our bag is full. There might be scavs to kill near extract, but other than that, I'm 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 okay with just trying to do it another raid. Trying to see if I can peek at some scavs down there. It doesn't look like it. Am I overweight? No. What is that? Look like a player for a second. Okay, right ridge looks clear. I'm gonna take the tree, so I don't want to walk in this open, right? I'm gonna take this low ground with this, all these trees. Constantly looking, guys. Constantly looking. This is a new concept for a lot of Tarkov players that come from other games. You're constantly making decisions on where you're going in the next 10 seconds, like, on the micro scale. Just figuring out where you want to be, like, not just wandering the map. It's like, when I was doing the Tarkov Sherpa series, that's something that a lot of people did, was they just kind of wander the map, right? You don't want to do that. You want to have plans for like the next 10 seconds. Where are you going? Even if you don't know the map, right? You could not know the map and still play by that rule. You totally get lost and wander around, but have a plan for the next 10 seconds. Go into this tree, go on that low ground, get a sprint across that area. Don't just wander. Your brain is constantly working when you play Tarkov, constantly. a player do we do this too dirty fuck i feel so bad about this though i feel so this is toxic are we really gonna do this dude like that ugh just ugh we're gonna pick something that blocks our silhouette or breaks up our silhouette the most this is toxic, chat. <sighs> We're gonna wait till he's like right here before we start shooting. 
What is that? Is that a scav or is that also a player? Huh. <clears throat> I don't know if I need a zero for this. I, I almost don't want to mess with zero here. Mo's in him? Oh, no. Ew, what is this? What is this loaded with? Dude, this is disgusting. I, 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 I don't, I don't like that. Do this to see better. There he is. Fucking sign. Yo, we hit him like three times. He's wearing armor. I need to push him before he meds up. Get the other angle. I switch up the angle almost immediately after you do that because he's going to always avoid that one. stuttering a little bit. There we go. <sighs> now watch me get sniped. It's 100% karma. Yeah, zero at his armor. It's a nice PP. I don't know if we have room for that, though. Could. Alright, fine. Let's probably not get me killed, chat. Ah, uh, no one can even grab that. Oh, fuck that. Oh, I thought I was about to fucking die. What is this? Is that, oh, that is gun? Dude, it's scuffed. This game's scuffed. We're getting out of here. Oh, shit. I'm about to fucking die. I have to put pressure on him. Put the round. We need to get off the boat. First things first. Off the boat. Get the shot. Come on. It's going to be cover to cover sprints, dude. Need to get off this fucking... Huh? No! I think that was from the front. I think that last shot was from the 12, honestly. We'll check it. But that last one sounded like it, it came from uh, Extract. All right, so that last raid, we actually got into quite a few PvP fights, but unfortunately, Karma came back and bit us in the ass. We bullied that player coming off of Scav Island and in turn got bullied ourselves. That player behind us just hunted us down and was able to drop us right as we were getting to the extract. But anyways, same plan, going into Shoreline, trying to wrap up this Scav kill quest. Some uh, customizable face paint. I'd be down for that. So we're going to go straight for all the Scav spawns, except for this one house. All right. I need, I need, I, I want to check this house. Shrek's house is usually good to me, so. Not bad. Oh, yeah, mama. I 
kind of don't want to die now. God damn it, Tarkov. Why do you do this to me? I was just going to go yeet around and get me my six scab kills, but now I kind of feel like I have to extract. Uh-huh. Ow. That hurt. Didn't appreciate that. Alright, what's up, homies? It's behind us. Tell me there's more than one of you. SVD? Go down now and check out this. Oh, I saw him. You guys see him? They're fighting down there. I might be able to third party this. Fighting. Around the back. Kill him. You're gonna make me do this? I mean, I will. I don't want to, but I will. Gonna push far around the flank here. <sighs> Gotta stock them. It's wabbit season. Oh god, he's swinging back. If he swings back, I'm dead. Chaos. Pure chaos. That's a lot of noise. Let's let's loot these dudes. Let's loot these cl Oh god, oh god. What oh lord. What did I get involved with? Okay, I'm stuck in here apparently, so let's just do this fast. Give me get, oh god. Oh oh lord. I gotta put that in my bag. That's a whoopsies. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What do you have? Okay, give me that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Thank you for this. Okay, and what do you have? I feel like there's someone coming. Someone's coming for this booty. We gotta go. We gotta go. Give me- What? Loot! Oh, God. Oh, do we leave? I think we leave. Oh! Come out! Oh, bye! We'll come back. Different raid. Adios! I'm out of here. I'm glad we waited for that, dude. Got both of them right there. <sighs> Do we greed? Do we pop up here and look for scavs? Is that how greedy we are? What is that? What is that? Oh, okay. It's one. It's two. Not looting. We're going. Usually if I ever drop scavs with a unsuppressed weapon, I don't loot them. Just because it's, it's, it's like a big dinner bell, dude. 
shooting at You fuckhead. That hurt. That hurt, you dick. How much stuff did you- Oh god, thank god for armor and your trash ammo, whatever it is. I need to flank around the left. And it needs to be done, like, right now. He's gonna be healing, we tagged him twice. This is dumb. We're dropping mags this whole time, I think, too. This is an okay spot. I want to be over here. Keep going. Just keep rotating. Just keep rotating. Oh, there he is. He's tagged, again. Do we even go for his buddy's gear? We traded spots, I might be able to go for a quick swap here. This is greed. This is pure greed. So, at this point in time, the smart move is to leave. But, he's angered me, and I want his friend stuff, so... This is a pure ego fight, pretty much, at this point. Pure ego fight. Let's flash this real fast. Actually, his friend doesn't even have anything good. Take that. Alright, bye-bye. Ah, we might have gotten him there with that last shot, too. I don't know. He didn't re peek which means he either tagged him enough that he got hurt and he left or something. I doubt he knows I go this direction, just because, like, running past him is such a weird thing to do. But I do want to respect the fact that my back will be open to him. So we're going to just get prone here. <clears throat> yeah, I don't really have any room for his gun. His gun is worth than, worse than these guys' AKs anyway, so yeah. I want to put this hill in between me and him. So as you're running away from targets, just... You're consciously building this imaginary picture of what's behind you. Like, as you're running and making sure you're putting things in between you and the target. So, spatial awareness. Don't just run in a straight way. Try to put things in between you and whoever it is that's hunting you. In all honesty, I should have killed this guy a couple times. Like, the first time, I he ran out of ammo. I, if I just paused and calmed down and I aimed a little bit better, I could have killed him right there when he was running because he had to reload. Um, I, I, I could have killed him there if I landed better shots, and then when we caught him again, if I was a little bit more patient, patient and proned out and held breath, I probably could have dropped him with a, a couple of rapid shots too. But, it's fine. Um, even if we killed him, I doubt we'd loot him, because we, he, he has a dinky gun and we just have so much stuff on us. As long as we get out, I'm pretty happy with how this raid turned out. Pestily? What's up, bro? Just had a wacky raid. What's up, man? Thanks so much for uh, subscribing, dude. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. All right, so definitely some cat and mouse there with that last fight. Definitely rotating around each other. And unfortunately, we just could not put enough rounds into this last guy to drop him. But we did manage to scoop that loot and get out, which is the safer play. Didn't really need to thirst or greed for the kill. But now we're going to go back in on shoreline one more time just to get that last scav kill done and hopefully put this quest to bed. <sighs> Make 
trick this cash real quick, cause why not? And then we'll push over, get a get a scab kill, and then just goon it up. Just do some general gooning. That's good. Oh scabs, where are you? There you are. Where'd you go? Oof. Oof. Where? What? Are you like in the bush? Oh my god, he's like counter rotating me. Nice. Alright. Well, see, now here's the thing I kind of want to extract because he's got a U shock now. Alright. Uh, don't want to put that there. I want to have a couple slots open for bags. Alright, let's go look for fights. Oh, what is that? Is that a player? I think that's a player. Someone's going to the resort. Where you go? Ah, he's using that cut to get- Oh, I don't want to go this way. Where you go? This is where the shots were, so I do want to be careful. Like the ammo truck. Ooh, there they are. They're going for the hop over. I might be able to cut them off. I don't want to take the shot here. I need clean shots. I need clean shots with this thing. I don't know if I can beat them in. Ugh. I'm hoping they stop before they jump over, but they might just rush it. If they rush it, we can't follow them in. Please stop before you go in. No, it looks like they're rushing in. Damn it. So we can, uh, what we can do is use that information that we know two players in that, in that area and go to the admin building. And just see if we ever get a chance to peek them as they, they come out to a balcony or something. But by no means do I want to follow two big dudes in with an AKM. Just trying to maximize our odds here of survival. While still being able to slap people. So we're going to just get up into the admin building and then just camp them out and see if they give us an opportunity. If not, we're at resort so we're probably going to get some PvP of some kind. That's the dealio right now. issue sitting down here honestly except for the fact that I can't see the balconies we can just loot this too they're gonna be in there looting some stuff see if there's any tetris or anything oh flash drive no Okay. Let's go peek out and see if we can catch these guys. Safe, I, I need the key. Oh! He's shooting me through the wall? Oh, it's a scab. God fucking damn it, dude.
It's a sketch now, because I heard me shoot from here. This is no longer ideal. I'm look for Tishanka and then head out, but I don't want to stay here anymore. Touche. Where's my touche? That's close. Okay, all right. We might be able to check out what's going on there. What is going on? What? They're shooting at a scat from the window. That's why I wanted to rush up and get it, get eyes on it. But then there, there's a scab in here that went somewhere. Oh God, he's right there. They're up here. That glass wasn't broken before. I think they're coming for me. You fucking dick, how are you still alive? Scavs, that's that's the name of this raid right here, boys. Is is just is literally just the name of the raid is Scavs. It's just That's all it is. I'm very confused at what's happening in this raid right now. I wanted to kill a scav, I didn't specify how many. Pretty much, dude, pretty much. Alright, well, I mean, I have nothing else to do on this map, so let's just leave. Okay. It's a good raid. Some good gunfights for sure. Mm -hmm. Alright, so definitely a couple of spooky scav encounters with that last raid, but we did manage to finish that quest, and thankfully we can now move on from using this AKM. But definitely guys, today was a good day for us, a lot of the deaths that we had today were pretty deserved, and there was no real bullshit engagements that we really had, so I'm really happy with the day, and we even ended with a 54% survival rate, so pretty happy with how today ended up. As always, just a reminder to like, comment, and subscribe for more content, and that our live streams are every Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 2 to 5 p.m. Pacific, and if you're looking for the full unedited VODs, every single second of our live streams, please check out that blue join button down below as $5 members and up get access to that content. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one.